Various reports have surfaced that immigrant detainees in women's detention center in Texas are being mistreated. The women reportedly went on a hunger strike and attempted to hold a vigil in response to deplorable prison conditions there. The Immigration and Customs Enforcement has denied this. Joining us for more on this is Marumora Villapando, founder of LatinoAdvocacy.org. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, what evidence do we have to substantiate these claims that these women are being treated this way and even, you know, according to the reports, being put in solitary confinement? Well, uh, for one, uh, grassroots leadership, the group on the ground right now, along with others, have received the letters uh, from the women um, where they detail the conditions and the reasons why they have decided on hunger, go on, uh, on hunger strike. Um, the reason why we believe this is because uh, is the, this has happened throughout the nation in the last couple of years. We saw that here in Tacoma, Washington, uh, three times people were on hunger strike. Uh, the first time, 1,200 men together went on hunger strike. Uh, the numbers are very similar. Uh, we saw that uh, happening uh, in Texas too, just last month with 54 men at El Paso uh, processing facility going also on hunger strike for a week. Uh, the um, just late September, beginning of October, uh, 14 men went also on hunger strike in the state of Louisiana in another detention center. Okay, well let's uh, let's talk about these these hunger strikes because according to the report I read, it says that these women initially they refused dinner. Um, I talked to ICE today. It said that there is no hunger strike. They've identified no one as being on hunger strike. Not only that, but that uh, this this center in Taylor, Texas, where this initial report came out of, is that it doesn't even have solitary confinement areas. So, what is the nature of this hunger strike? Is it not eating anything, or is it, as this report says, just not eating dinner? I mean, what's the nature of the strike and the conditions they say they're they're receiving there? Ice Ice considers only a hunger strike after 72 hours of not eating. So no wonder they would say that. They say that every time. For us organizers and people that support human rights, we know that when people decide not to eat, uh, that's already a big, a big action. Uh, when they decide to put themselves on, on the line, their health, their cases uh, put, put on the line. Every detention center that is built in this country, which we have over 200 of them, have solitary confinement cells. They are, are made uh, as prisons. This, they just changed the name from detention, uh, from prison to detention, but they're just prisons. Uh, the conditions are terrible. Uh, women are placed in areas where the temperature goes really low, so it's, they're really cold. The food is always a problem. Uh, we need to remember that these detention centers are run by private corporations that cut corners to make more profit. So the meals given are uh, pretty much just soy uh, or some boiled potato. Uh, also, no, no access to medical care. And the most important one is the fact that they're not given hearings on time or even uh, bonds to be able to continue their proceeding uh, outside with their families instead of being detained. Now, what is being done uh, for these uh, detainees by your organization or, or other organization that deal with the subject matter? Well, we're working together several organizations across the nation, like I mentioned. Uh, there's been other hunger strikes just in the past weeks. Like uh, yesterday, another uh, facility went on hunger strike again, 300 men uh, in Adelanto, California. So what we're doing is first getting the word out. Uh, we know how this works. We, we've seen how ICE retaliates uh, by moving people from uh, uh, pod to pod or transferring to other detention centers in other locations. So we are coordinating uh, with each other to locate those that are uh, transported to other, other states also making sure that people are not placed in solitary confinement. Uh, in our case, we are watching very closely that people are not uh, threatened with force feeding, which happened here in Washington state. And we were able to, uh, uh, along with the ACLU, file uh, to ensure that that wouldn't happen. And it didn't because we, were, we moved very, very quickly. So again, we want people to know what, you know, right now hundreds of people are on hunger strike today throughout the nation. More there might be coming. Uh, but basically, we want to ensure that the people that decided to take this constitutional right of protesting peacefully are, uh, are being seen by the public and that they are protected and not retaliated against. Maru Mora Villapando, founder of LatinoAdvocacy.org, thank you very much for joining us on this today. Thank you.